however, here we are. We're at Sunday morning. We're at the uh, bar. Carpet guys were in here at about 8 o'clock in the morning. Did a great job. Danny, what do you think of the carpet? I think it looks fantastic. Nice. Jerry, what do you think of the carpet? It looks awesome. Nice. And that's Jerry's child. That's his daughter. Say hello, daughter. <laughs> Danny's making snowman. <laughs> carpet man. <laughs> so, uh, it's Sunday. We're probably going to go over and watch a little football. As we walk in, you see that we carried the carpet all the way up, and we're going to make a transition. We actually have a little higher level right there. We're going to make a transition with a little ramp. So we'll come back and tie that in. We will come back and tie in the bathroom floors. That'll be right there. But the carpet will continue all the way on down into the next area where there's more women's bathrooms past that door. Things are looking really good. Carpet looks great. I'm not in the mood. I'm really so, <laughs> <laughs> so Barney the dinosaur and Danny had an erotic. <laughs> what happened? I didn't know he was making shakes because I was like, man, I didn't even hear you shaking the crap out of the blender. And he was like, oh no, it blew up on me. <laughs> I look like Barney the dinosaur blew a load on him. <laughs> but they're good this time. They are good. They are good. Danny, it's a good shake. <laughs> bros, bros, bros. My aloha guys in the house, down here to get us up and running. Bruce, you're killing me, man. Ah, oh, Ben, you're killing me you're killing with this junk. Hey, killing me, Bruce. Bruce is going to get our stuff all up and running for us today. He's doing a fantastic job. We'll check back with him in an hour. He's going to be playing, teaching the kids how to get this running. Good luck, Bruce. You need it. All right, Dorian, uh, what, what do you do for the community here? I currently chair the Old Town Chinatown Business Association. Nice. And uh, what kind of a, what kind of events do you help to promote and set up for the downtown area? Well, for the Old Town Chinatown, we're working on uh, Under the Autumn Moon Festival, which this year will be on October 4th. We're also looking at starting a, a potential Asian evening market starting in July. And on top of that, they have the centerpiece event being the 080808 event, which coincides with the opening of the Olympics in Beijing, China. That's great. We're excited to uh, want to be members, aren't we, Gary? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're excited to be part of the new members of the uh, downtown, Old Town Chinatown Business Association. Thanks for coming yeah, in, Dorian. Look forward to that. Thank you. All right, we're going to start this over one more time. Jerry is painting carbon black. What do you got going on, Jerry? Well, I'm painting the inside, getting it situated for the disco ball. That's right. Jerry's in here getting this all prepped up. It's supposed to look like a void. Then we're going to come back and we have a header that's put in up here to support weight. We can support a ton of weight with that thing. We're going to put disco ball motors and the disco ball motors are going to hang down and spin inside of the void area. We're also going to put lights up in the corners that are going to shine down in the disco ball. It's going to look really cool. During our promotional events, we'll actually pull the disco balls out and replace them with dancers, themed events, Say hey, Jerry. And you're going to be doing one of these. <laughs> oh, that's disturbing. Just stop. Stop. <laughs> you know, it's a very rare occasion that we find Joe head down. <laughs> what do you got going on, buddy? I'm um, throwing in the um, speed rex into our ice well. Speed rail. We are using the single speed rail because the double speed rail sticks out too far. This one might have been acceptable to put a dual speed rail on, but on these ones where we're in the narrow corridors, we are using a single speed rail. It's also perfectly acceptable to snap a speed rail on the front of your coolers right here. But how we set up our back bar, because we set our back bar in, they're like holsters. You'll see it once it gets done. The bartenders don't actually have to rely on the speed rails because the entire back bar is a large speed rail. We'll show you that as we move along farther. So Chris, what are you doing right now? <laughs> a little physical labor. Don't tell anyone, yeah, I'm actually uh, helping Danny. Sometimes, <laughs> you actually, sometimes, <laughs> actually, I suck. sometimes Danny actually needs help getting it there straight. It are, are going straight? Is it going straight? Now we're going straight with Danny. So I'm basically sticking it in. Is it fit? Is it fit, Danny? Is it fit? Need some more lube. It's not gonna fit. Too big. Need more lube. <laughs> there we go. And how'd you get up on that ladder oh there, Chris? Ah, uh, Joe, you gotta make sure that's straight. Oh, I'm always straight. No, it's straight. It's straight. It's straight. Yeah, you gotta go that way. No, you gotta. Okay, you can see here we have the 
diamond plate already put up on this wall and the reason that we did that is to break up the wallpaper on both sides we're then going to carry the diamond plate down the corridor here and the reason we told you earlier why we're carrying that down the corridor is that it'll help to minimize the traffic so people won't want to stand and lean on it for any reason it's not that comfortable it's not sharp or anything like that but it's just it's not to comfortable to lean on so we're going to put that all the way down and you can see how this is actually looking it looks really really good yeah okay well maybe